Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have an Asa Ruko 2. And it is six pins, barrels, and counter milling. So let's see if we can get this sucker open. Um, I've picked it once, and that is it. I've been picking a lot of Asa lately. So uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to use a very, very aggressive um, profile because this ass is just very, very high low, high low. Um, I know that for a fact. It's just, it sucks. So, here we go. We'll click on six in the back. Click on five. Four. There's six again. I'm using a 19,000th profile that way I can use the bottom of the keyway here and then just leave her all the way up. That is the best way to do these adjacent cuts in these ass uh, if you're able to oh, nudge something so I there we go a little bit more on six there more real movement on it this time so we are making progress more real feedback anyway Click on two. I'll click on one. It's not force it now. I was feeling for four there. Now I'm trying to feel for six. I can't really get a jiggle test on it that well in the back because there's so much in the way, and six is the highest cut in the entire key profile. There we go, more on one. I'm not f okay, it's gonna say I'm not feeling the jiggle on three yet, so there we go, there's another little click on three. Got three set there. I think in the process we dropped others, so what I probably should have done was just uh, continue on instead of trying to push it the rest of the way up. I feel super stiff. But I know it's low. I'm just not getting that 
jiggle like it's set. But I'm also hitting it pretty hard and it's not doing anything, so. Okay, there to click on four. Two. Let's not force it. There's another click on one. I think one might be set now. In the back. Five is still really stiff. And again, not gonna force it. Check four. Three. I have to keep the angle of my pick correct here because it likes to go to the side a little bit. And it goes off the side of the pin and I can't lift it properly. So that's the downside of me using this 19 thousandths from the bottom. So it's hard to get it. There we go. Another click on one. Correctly under the pins. Got another click on two. Five is super stiff. I'm not, yeah, I'm not getting a jiggle out of it, but it's also not moving, so. Feels like it's being difficult. It's not wanting to move either. Make sure I'm on it. I'm not the side of it. There we go. <clears throat> there was some on four. That was my problem. I was not getting my pin on it or my pick on it correctly. There we go. Oops. Felt some drop a little bit, so I tried lifting three there, and I didn't need to. That's what I get for lifting shit that I shouldn't. Six. Nope, that is. 
That's that little five. There we go. Click on one. A little bit of movement on it, so I think that actually needs to go in just a little bit more. I think we're good now. Two. There we go. I think we're good on two. Yeah, that stubborn S really low five. I wonder if it's six back there. I'm gonna try to check. The pins have been giving me trouble, so five. Four. So make sure I'm actually, that's five. Get a different pick, different feel, see if that helps. If this one's so deep, and there we go. It didn't make it past five. It's five. I don't like these sharp ends on these monkey paw style that I make so much, but they grip the pins well enough when I do get it under there correctly that I do like them too. Okay, there's another click on one. There we go, another click on one. Drop down, you little bastard. One's going to be a pain in the ass. As usual, back in the back again. Try to get feels like six. That's five. like four wanted to move. I mean, it's got to be back here six and four because three, two, and one feel all right. Five doesn't want to move. That's five. Four is just stiff as hell, so I'm gonna try to make sure I'm under that one and lift that one only. So switch picks and do some just a little bit. Not so deep. One, two, three. Yep, there we go. Felt a little bit of movement there. Let's got this sucker open. It's just a matter of getting that's five. Not feeling the jiggle on four. it right there but it's also not wanting to go up anymore either so my guess is it's probably six in the very back there holding us up or not five feels stiff as shit it's not got hold on does it I think it does have a little jiggle to it, so maybe I'm wrong. Five's got to be set then. It's not four. That was slipping off of three. I 
So I like using that pick because it gets caught, unlike this one. Or I finally, maybe I had too much turning pressure on. Either way, now I just drop some by trying to set it. That might just be six back there because everything else still feels the same. some pressure off and it feels like I did more harm than anything. Yeah, it seems like one needs to be set again. Yep, there we go. One is set again. Alright, I'm gonna give it just a little bit more here and then I'm gonna give up. I'm right there, but I'm just not getting something. That's four there. I think I had too much pressure on again. Pressure off helped. I think <laughs> I wonder if this is exactly what I did last time. exactly the problem. Maybe it's because I'm using my damn thumb. Yep. Look at that shit happening now.
don't want the stiff. There we go. There we go. God damn, that was it. Jeez. I need to let that pressure off a little bit. So, <laughs> moral of the freaking story. Uh, take my advice and the advice I tell freaking everybody. Don't use your damn thumb as a way to do this. Now I have to... I don't know how the hell to get it. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm actually not sure if I will be able to gut this. It is the Asterica 2. Um, if I figure it out, I get on LPU and ask them real quick. If I figure it out, I will come back and show the insides. It's got a snowman core. It's got to be guttable. There has to be a way to move this or something. I wonder if I have to push something down on the bottom there. And remove it. Yep, that looks like it. There we go. Okay, so then that comes out. And it is guttable, so there we go. That's exactly how you do it. So never mind, I will not be right back. I will just go ahead and finish it up right here. Probably one of my longest videos, but I did not want to give up on it. I felt that the whole damn way I was stuck. And it was all because my damn pressure on my tension. There we go. Oof. And we've got it a snowman in a minute. Let me adjust the camera here. There we are. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck me. I just uh, turned it upside down. That is. Whew, that was scary as shit. Luckily, I know what happened and I can fix the damn thing. I was hoping it turned the right way. Apparently, it <laughs> didn't. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Oh, you bastard. Get back there, get all those pins. There we go. There we go. Let's put it back the normal way. Come off. Oh, shoot. No longer down. Let's grab our. There we go. That will do. And now we will. Oh. Shim shimity, shim shimity, shim shim shabru. If you don't use a shim, it will surely fuck you. Take the song's advice. Looks like we didn't need one for this one. But better safe than sorry. And then our driver pins. The top here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Put that back there. 
And there we have it. Let's throw our key up there. So there is our bedding and our pins. So all of our barrels and the counter milling to match, as you can see up in there. And there's the bidding, so that was what was being the pain in the ass. So I was working on that six and that four right there. That six is the highest cut that you can get. And that is very low there. I'm not sure if that's the lowest cut or what, but they did it the max that they absolutely could. And that four right there is really high as well. But yeah, there we go. That is the Asa Ruko 2. And um, yeah, I hope my gutting of this uh, helped you gut one of these uh, the future as well. That sound is my dog dreaming. <laughs> Alright everyone, thanks for watching.